All right, we'll move straight to our Android Studios where the application sits. Okay, we'll first of all look at the build that we do, the module application. Uh, in the dependencies, I want you to look at something quickly. Uh, you have the com Android GMS Google Play GMS does the Google Play service. Google Play service is very important in uh, in Android APIs when you're trying to call in some uh, external API from the Google libraries. So the Google Play service uh, dependency has been added, and also the app compact version seven you know, is the latest uh, 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 activity of the Android Studios. Okay, all right. Let's look at the uh, layout. The activity main XML. Okay, this is a relative layout with uh, a hundred width and a height match parent. It has uh, a child relative layout as well with match parent and wrap content for the width and height. And it has a gravity of center horizontal. Uh, the, this is actually going to sit above uh, the signing layout. Okay, and the text we follow suit, which is actually showing the title text. Which is Google Plus login, followed by another text view, which is saying sign out. This is going to be shown right when you have you might have login into the application, uh, login with Google Plus into the application. Okay, there is an image view that actually, that also keeps up uh, launcher, which actually is signified by the user profile image. You know, is going to get a profile image which is going to sit right in the center, you know, in the center horizontal to and send to vertical tree. Okay, the text will follow the after words, which is the user tagline as an ID, and uh, it's actually going to sit below the user profile image. You know, these are just uh, the alignment process of the uh, different tags. Okay, we have a linear layout uh, that actually uh, has a, a, a match parent and also wrap content. Okay. Uh, if the center horizontal is true and the orientation is in vertical, uh, we have a child tag which is come that's Google, Android, the GMS Plus, and the Plus One button. Okay, this is going to call the HTTP uh, APK library from the Google Android GMS Plus. Okay, we give it an ID called Plus One button and the width and height match parents, respectively, and the size is standard. The annotation, the plus annotation is inline, that's an in an inline text. Okay, we have a button for the share button, and we have another button for the interactive post. Okay, all these are wrapped into the relative layout uh, closing tag. Okay, we have another relative layout after this, which we have an idea of sync that which is like signing layout, okay, like a typo. Okay, it has a child of uh, the GMS common signing button. Okay, the height and width is wrap content and the center in parent. Okay, uh, afterwards we have a, a linear layout this time. Okay, what's the linear layout doing? It has a sign out layout and also uh, it's fill parent in width and the wrap content in the height. The orientation is horizontal. Where the visibility is done at the okay. Uh, we have a button for the sign out and also for disconnect. Okay, the XML is very, very important in this application. A lot of relative layouts inside another relative layout. Wow, we have some linear layout as well. By sitting as a child type of a relative layout, we have the text view and also an image view. Okay, I would like to look at the strings XML of the application. Okay, uh, this is where we actually uh, specify some string um, attributes. We have the sign in, sign in as the error list logs. I want you to look at this aspect, which is the sample deep, deep link URL. This is going to go as, uh, actually to the about page of uh, the Laravel Studio. This is just uploaded with the content description for images. Okay, all right, uh, let's move to our Java class, which is the main activity. Where the logic of the application actually is okay. We have a lot of imports. I'd like to collapse this, I'd like to expand it rather. Okay, we have um, I want you to look at the, the GMS imports, which are very important for the Google Play service utility for the scope, the sign in button for the Google API client for the API scope, the Google Plus 
the one button, the share, and also the person. Okay, these are and also the Java input and output input stream. Okay, these are very very important inputs. Uh, imports we've done here. Okay, the main activity extends that compact activity and implements uh, three up to three functionalities: the view on click listener, the Google API client connection callbacks, the Google API client on connection field listener. These are all implemented. You know, they are all uh, they are all interfaces being implemented from the main activity. Uh, we have a field called uh, final string tag, which is the main activity. And we're going to request code for resolutions involving signing. Okay, the RC signing is giving an idea of 9001. And, and also, we're going to request code for sharing posts on user profile. The RC share log dialog is 8031. Okay, keys for persisting instance variable in save instance states. Okay, you have the key, the, uh, the private uh, fields, which are static and final. Key is resolving, key is resolving, key should resolve, give it the corresponding value, and the URL, okay, to give it the post URL of the uh, Google Plus of the RS Studios, and also the label with more, you know, for more details. We are going to have a lot of fields here, which I'll just be explained, I'll just talk about them in, in brief. We have the Google API clients, okay, we have the M status. Have the profile tagline, the profile image, these are all private uh, fields. We have the is Boolean is resolving, M should resolve, and the profile peak size. What, the, what, what is the size of the profile peak? It's going to be 400 by 400, anyways. And the plus one request code. Okay, we'll move straight to the methods. We have the uncreate method, uh, that's that call on the set content view, call on the layout activity main. I mentioned the layer. Okay, so we're going to restart from save instance state, and we're also going to start to restore save instance state, which thereby calling using an if statement to find out the save instance state at the moment, and assigning it to solving if it's not if it's not not or not equals to not, the key is resolving, and also M should resolve. We have these uh, uh values declared up up there. Okay, it should be declared. Let me just click on it. Okay, can you see there? And should we sell false? Okay. All right, so we're going to set up button click list now. We're going to find view by Heidi, the sign in button, we set an on click list now to it. The sign out, we set an on click list now to it. It's connect also. The share button and the interactive post, we're going to set an on click list now to it. It should be something to listen for. Okay. In the sign in uh, button, we're going to find the view by ID. We're going to call in the set size and the signing button size wide and we're going to start some signing button and disabled onto signing either succeed or fail okay which have been done and we're going to set up a view instances this is the text view to the m status to the profile tagline and to the profile image okay that's fine uh we're going to build google api client with access to basic profile now we're going to associate a new keyword of the google api client we're going to add the connection callback. We're going to add on connection field listener. We're going to add the APIs call and the scope. Okay, all these are done in this method. Okay, we have another method called update UI. So after all these have been called in, so is this signed in? We're going to take a boolean, a false, a, a true or false. Is this signed in or not? If it's signed in, okay, uh, the current person we get the value of the current person in particular. And if the current person is not equals to null, okay, we're going to set the string name to the current person. We're going to get the display name. We set it as a text to the name uh, field. We're going to get the person's photo. We get the image method with the get with the URL to the image. We're going to also get the tagline, okay, of the of the current person, and we're going to set the text. Based on the attribute of, of the person tagline to the end profile tagline, okay. You know, have uh, the person's photo as a soft string, okay. Now we're going to instantiate with a new keyword to get the profile image and execute the person's photo, okay. Okay, so if else, we're going to call on the tag and pass in some values, which is the error please check logs, okay. We set the button visibility. To be visible, 
and also we set uh, the sign out layout too to be visible. So if this are not happening, there is an else statement. This are this is a sort of a nested if else statement. Okay, this is the outer else statement, which is going to show the signed out message when you click on signed out. Okay, I'm going to set the image bitmap. We're going to set button visibility as well, which we've done for the if. Okay, and we get the sign in button and the sign out layout to enable and set visibility to them appropriately. Okay, we have the on start method, which is going to call on the mgoogle API client and get it then connected. We have the on stop and going to disconnect the Google API client. Okay, let's move on. We have the on resume. Okay, the on resume method calling on the super resume because it's been overridden over here. Okay. Uh, we're going to refresh the state of the plus one button each time the activity receives focus. Okay, calling on the plus one button, getting the ID of the plus one from the examiner, and then initializing the URL with the plus one request code. Okay, that's that's, that's straightforward. All right, we have a saved instance state. Okay, that's it on the body. Body out states, calling on the super on saved instance state, and also. Calling on the key is resolving, the key should resolve. Okay, that's fine. We have the on activity result. Okay, this is going to pass three parameters the request code and also the data. This is just repeated, uh, it should be just two the request code and the data. Okay, the request code is going to set on activity result to the super class, which is uh, the overriding aspect. To get the on activity result, you concatenate it with the request code and also with uh, uh, it's a column and concatenate it with the request code. This is just going to be like uh, uh, an outputted data or value. Okay, now we're going to test one each statement if the request code is equal to the sign, sign in, uh, sign in. Okay, and it should result with a false. Let's see. The request code is equal to the RC share dialog. This is an a nested if else. So another if in an if in an else. So it should fail to post. Okay, this is when you really want to post onto the Google Plus. Okay, we have a connected method. I have a connection suspended. We won't be talking about all these methods anyway. I'm going to upload my source code to the GitHub account that I shown on your screen. So that you can pick it up and use it in the course of the application. So we have the on-click uh, method, which is going to get a switch, get the ID of the uh, menu at in present, giving it a case, the sign-in button. So what should happen when you, when the ID is is the sign-in button? Okay, you get set the text up to sign in. You connect it up. What about if it's a sign-out button? That means you have to disconnect. Okay. That's what happened now. So, if the ID is even in a disconnect button, what should you do? As an if statement to get it connected, calling on the account API and also clearing the default account and revoking the access and disconnecting. Okay, that's fine. So, what about if it's a share button? Call an intent, you know, get the share post intent, start an activity for result by passing up the value to another intent. Okay, so if it's an interactive post, and enter to is being required, which also a stack activity for results. Okay, so there's a background accessing tax to load user profile picture from URL. Okay, this is going to load profile image extend async async tax. This is a generic with a string and a bitmap with a picture. Okay, this image view is being uh, declared to the BM image. We're going to load profile image and we're going to uh, attach this to the BM image. Okay, we're going to do apps to do in background app process, which is a method protected. So we have a pick or string URL display and also the bitmap. So there's a try and catch an error. Okay, there's an input stream. That's where we need the Java input arrow of the input stream. That's where we reported that. So we're going to catch for an exception you know, and get the message out gracefully if there's an error. Okay, there's an on post execute. Okay, I want you to look at something here again. 
the get interactive post content is a method that was called an interactive session. Okay, this is going to call on the URL, which is called to action. We pass in the URL from uh, the string is actually got from the deep link ID from the string I showed earlier. Okay, so you pass in the about of the diverse studios. Okay, the same thing with the share and the same thing with the builder. That's fine. It, it's, it looks a little complicated, but it's just straightforward. Once you pick up the code and do one or two amendments, you get it running for your application. I would like to run this in my journey motion later, and I will beg your pardon, my good listener. My journey motion doesn't have Google Play service, so it's not going to show it the functionality we really need it for. But I want you to test it in a way device, which I've already done, and I get it very, very okay. But for just this, my group, this is how the application actually is and launched. But when I try to sign in, you know, there's a need for uh, a Google Play service. I'm yet to actually configure it fully the journey motion with the Google Play service. I beg your pardon for that. But try this on your on your real device or try it on an, on an emulator that has uh, the Google Play service um, incorporated in it. You get a slick application I'm telling you about. Once you take it on your sign in, uh, you get it. Uh, you get you get it asking for which Google account do you really need to uh, log in with it. If you don't have, you have to sign up for a Google account. And if you have to sign up, or if you have multiple Google accounts, you pick the one you need and you sign up into this application. It is full blown and fully working. You know, I will never, never give you something that will break up anyway. Thank you very much for listening, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys, and bye bye.